Hello friends, this video on sound part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Sound can never travel through vacuum and vacuum means complete empty. It has nothing. Nothing means absolutely nothing. You might be, many of you must might be uh, getting to know this term vacuum for the first time. So let us try to understand what is vacuum. It is a space which is completely devoid of matter. Please remember it is completely devoid of matter. Matter means anything, anything that occupies space is matter. Solid, liquid, gas, everything they are falls under matter. Now let me give you a very simple example to explain what do we mean by vacuum. Let us suppose you have a bottle and this bottle is filled with water right so will you say that the bottom is em bottle is empty no because the bottle is already filled with water so right now what do you have inside the bottle you have liquid inside the bottle now what do you do you take out the water which is present inside the bottle so you have taken it out so now will you say that the bottle is empty Yes, many of us would say that yes, the bottle is empty because there is no water inside the bottle. But if I ask you, is there anything present or is there matter present inside the bottle? Yes, of course, because air is present inside the bottle. The moment air is present everywhere around us, right? So the moment you take out or you pour out the liquid from the bottle so even before you can put the cap on the bottle air enters inside so air is sitting inside the bottle so now also the bottle has matter now there are techniques by which you can take out even the air from the bottle and then what do you say the bottle is completely devoid of matter because now it doesn't contain any liquid, any gas, nothing is there. And then we say that a vacuum has been created inside the bottle. Right? So that is vacuum. So vacuum means absolutely nothing, no matter at all. Now, you might be thinking that uh, it, it might sound to be little, uh, what to say, uh, little imaginary for you that something like vacuum also exists or uh, how do we create vacuum? Now, as you go to your senior classes, you will learn about the various methods by which you can create uh, partial vacuum or you can create vacuum so I will not get into those details right now but yes it is not an imaginary concept yes it is possible to create vacuum you can actually create emptiness complete emptiness inside an object so I will give you some of the examples which you see around yourself where uh, you can feel vacuum to some extent so one such example is a magic which is often shown to kids but it is not actually a magic but a simple scientific phenomenon all you need to do is take a glass fill it with water up to the top so completely fill it with water now you place a paper card over it okay sounds simple now as soon as you place the paper card over it you quickly turn it upside down like how it is done in this picture so now this glass is completely filled with water and this is the paper card now as soon as you turn it upside down what do you expect to happen normally what we expect is that the paper card should fall down and the water inside the glass should also fall down that is what we expect but you will see a magic what happens is even when you turn it upside down the paper card sticks to the glass so it is like a magic. The glass is turned upside down but the entire water is there inside the glass and the paper card is also sticking to it. So many magicians show this as a magic but this there is actually a very simple science behind it. What happens is a low pressure area or partial vacuum is created and due to the creation of this partial vacuum and where is this partial vacuum created? Now, normally why do we expect that the paper card will fall? Because the water which is present inside, this weight of the water will push the paper card downwards. And that is why the paper card will fall and the water will also fall. 
that is our expectation but what happens is just between these two layers like you have water here and this is the paper cut just between these two a very thin layer of vacuum is created vacuum means where there is nothing no no air no water nothing so this vacuum acts as a separation between the water and the paper cut so the water is not able to push the paper card and that is why the paper card is not falling down so that is the simple logic so here you see the role of vacuum so here partial vacuum is created another example where you can see partial vacuum is the suction caps have you ever seen these kind of caps so i'm sure you would have seen it i mean you often use it for hanging stuff so they also have these kind of suction cups caps and what happens to them when you stick them to a smooth surface they get stuck very tight and then it becomes very difficult to bring them out so why are these caps being able to stick to a smooth surface so tightly that is also due to the creation of vacuum so the space inside this so this inside space it has vacuum so there is no air inside so it becomes airtight so you would have heard the term airtight quite often these days there are so many containers which they say that they are airtight containers so if you keep uh, food materials inside that so air will not be able to enter and that's how they will not get spoiled and all so so basically vacuum i hope you would have understood by now what is vacuum okay so now what we were talking about was the propagation of sound so now if sound wants to travel from one place to another it needs a medium and it cannot travel in vacuum so these were the two important conclusion now one very uh, popular experiment which is known as the bell jar experiment so this experiment showed that a sound cannot travel in vacuum now when i say that sound cannot travel in vacuum what i mean is so if there is a sound being produced from some source other people will not be able to hear it if it is all vacuum because sound will not be able to get transmitted from the source to the listeners so here in this um, apparatus so here you can see this is a bell jar so this is the jar as you can see and this jar is connected to a vacuum pump so this but the purpose of this pump is to create vacuum inside how will it create vacuum inside by taking out all the air from the bell jar so here inside you have vacuum that means it is devoid of matter nothing is there inside and inside this you have this electronic bell and the switch of this electronic bell is somewhere here as you can see here so now what do you normally expect if you switch it on the bell should ring right and in normal situation what happens when your doorbell rings you are able to hear the sound of the bell why right? because sound can travel through air and air is present around you in your house but in this case when you switch it on the bell rings but you are not able to hear it because it is all vacuum inside so the sound is not able to travel from this is the source of the sound so the sound is not able to travel from here and that is why nobody is able to hear the sound of the bell so this is a very popular experiment which proved that sound cannot travel through vacuum and therefore sound needs a medium to propagate and this medium could be a solid it could be a liquid or it could be a gas thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again